All right, guys, so as I start releasing videos, I'll talk about training. I know you guys wanna know what my training is, but truth be told, a lot of it's gonna be theory and certain things that I think kind of uh, application and how it applies. Uh, there's so many good channels out there showing full routines, really explaining uh, the hows and whys of each exercise, you know, and I don't wanna saturate the market with just following myself around the gym. And truth be told, my home gym is a little bit, uh, the lighting's punky and it's very tight. And I just started going back to a commercial gym, but they frown on lunkish type stuff. So if I try to break out a camera and show you my favorite bro -sep routine, uh, I don't know how that'll go over, okay? So instead of showing you the routine, I can give you some of the hows and whys and uh, how it applies in my opinion. So. Coming from a grip background, uh, I hear a lot of talk about people ask grippers, grippers, do they help, do they help? And you'll almost across the board, people say grippers do nothing for arm wrestling. And I disagree, but I, again, it all depends on who you are and how you pull. You know, uh, somebody who's a heavy puller that likes to pull back away, you know, use those types of muscles and roll or dragging type hooks and stuff. That's like me saying you don't really need your tricep or your chest. That's because the lanes that I pull in or somebody else might pull in aren't conducive for that or it's not as high up the ladder of importance. But somebody else, you know, if you pull with, say, Eric Spato, and well, you'll feel a lot of his pressure will be in that coming across, of course, world record breaking bench presser. You'll feel the difference in lane from when he gets past that center line and can start really throwing those heavy shoulder, heavy chest, you know, tricep stability that he's so famous for, okay? So different strokes for different folks. As I said, and I stand by every person, you can't do, a, you know, laser beam training. Every person's built different, they have different strengths. So when people say a gripper's good, it depends on how you use your hand. For me, I do use them. And you see the problem with grippers, and but I think the general hand strength is should be a rule of thumb for everybody, especially in the arm wrestling game. You know, um, the problem grippers have is the way people grab them and the way they use them. Like anything, you give somebody a guitar, if they don't know how to play guitar, it sounds like shit. You give it to Jimi Hendrix, same tool but he's making beautiful, melodious music, right? So when people grab a gripper, their idea is just to squeeze it, right? And in squeezing, your hand falls to a natural, we'll grab this right here, it falls to a natural lane where your wrist is kicked back and you kind of squeeze it. Now, if you look at the dynamics of that, sure, you close the gripper, it takes hand strength, and in essence, it is working your forearm and in, in everything internally there, right? Your hand's getting stronger, you're squeezing but you're in a position that's kind of like this. Your wrist is kicked back. Your fingers might be strong, but you're training from a kickback wrist, wrist position, which everyone knows, unless you're kind of coming forward and you want your fingers to hang on, it's not really conducive to what we're trying to achieve here. So what I'll do with a gripper is, again, try to mimic, because I think the hand and wrist work as a unit, and this, Angle, if you flatten your wrist, you're gonna to have to lighten up the gripper load. If you kind of straighten out your wrist, and instead of squeezing this way, you kind of draw your fingers this way. So it would be like, instead of being backwards, I would grab it like this, and then just retract. See how I keep my hand as if the ref was? And I picture this hand being right on this knuckle, right on this joint right here. Because when people try to back away this way, what I'll do is I try to contain and shut it down. So I want to strengthen that. So you put your hand on and I leave my hand open and I'll just close my fingers, you see? But see, this can be a little rolly, it's round and when you're trying to go like this, it can slip in your palm. So what I like to use, and the, 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 the pressure of it feels good, uh, is just one of these like pony clamps, whatever you guys call them, spring clamps, pony clamps, they got a bunch of different names, and it fits in the palm real nice. It doesn't wanna 
pop out your palm, and then you can get really good flat fingers spread across, and you can almost kind of like focus on those fingers and close them with a straight wrist, and you can sit there and do a static hold on it, and you'll feel it want to pull you open, but it's just more like retracting your fingers, okay? And I have a huge one of these that's actually really hard to close, but my fucking kids relocated it somewhere, you know, who knows? Who knows what they're doing with it? So something as simple as this, and it'll start to feel the same way as when you close your hand and you put pressure down on someone's wrist. Now again, different application. There's different types of hand control depending on the person you're pulling. So I'll grab down around someone's wrist in their mid hand if they're trying to low back away. But it's different kind of pressure if you get somebody that sits up really high and wants to pop back. That'll probably be more on your mid hand type area. But even just grabbing and closing with your fingers, it builds a lot more stability. And it's gonna be awkward at first. When you first start this, it's gonna be very awkward. And you might even feel like your wrist pops a little bit, but that's why you start light. And it's just closing this way. Grabbing grippers like this will absolutely get your hand stronger, which is probably why Khaled is doing good because people are trying to roll him from the bottom of his hand. They're trying to do things and really to unlock that code, you got to use your wrist to turn that guy palm up and then pop his hand. Trying to come under him, if he's just got a tall hand and keeps his hand like this and squeezes like he's squeezing a gripper, everyone's kind of buckling from underneath him. They're all buckling. So it's a different application. You'd either have to take him and control him from the bottom or turn him palm up first and then roll him. But if you're just trying to attack his fingers when he's a guy that's been doing this since he's been discovered, it's I was in the same boat. Nobody could roll my hand because they were trying to attack me finger first. And I was, this is what I did for years, right? Um, so for me, when I'm driving, and it's super easy, you be at a stoplight, set it in your hand, especially my big one that you could probably, uh, even a strong grip guy will fade very fast. And I'll just, like this, and I'll just hold it there. And once you hold it and you get a hard gripper, you'll realize it feels, for me, the way I grab someone, like when somebody's trying to pop out. And super easy. Um, for me, they carry over because I use it that way. I don't waste my time doing shit I don't use. I don't waste my time, you know, if I'm planning on not using my hand at all, then, I mean, don't waste your time on things that aren't as conducive. Even a D-ring handle, right? Same thing. Simple D-ring. You don't need an expensive handle. I hope I don't piss off a bunch of people selling expensive handles. But sometimes just for that, that pinky you know, low hand, wrist, just rolling it up on your fingers a little bit and crunching it. Cause see, I have a theory about fat handles and for the most part, I don't think that they're as good for wrist strength as this. Because when you look at where the pivot point is on a, a fat handle, if this was fat, right, it'd be sitting somewhere down lower on the palm of my hand because the thickness of the handle would push the central pivot point down. So going like this with a flat handle is lower on your palm, hence leverage, and you could push more. Whereas the D-ring handle can get all the way up here on the calluses, way up to the end. So pushing a 100 pounds with a, a fat handle as opposed to a D-ring handle, you're going to feel it more on your wrist with a smaller handle. So even just taking this and putting it, just crunch it up there in the, the ends of your pinkies and just rolling it towards you. Now you could just, when you're doing pulls, when you're doing rows on a, on a back row, same thing. It's that low hand pinky control. Um, again, it's not for everybody. Guys will hit me up and say, my hands aren't long enough. Well, I don't pull that way. Of course. And there's, there's, there's some people who should be diving in there and some people who shouldn't if you're this person and this makes sense to you and hand strength and control is something you're after um i do like grippers but it's how you use them and like i said personally i like those clips better than the grippers this right here and just just sit there it's so easy you can throw it in anyway. this one's rusty and beat the shit and you know what you throw it out you can go to the dollar store and get 10 of these for five bucks i mean they're garbage but if you get the big one with the heavy spring, you'll see that it's very challenging. And just, it's just a finger, finger close. 
and uh, I think it conditions the wrist. I think you feel it all the way down to your elbow, even as a rehab thing. But from my standpoint, grippers are good and they do carry over. But like anything, it's how you use it. So that's my little riff on that. And, uh, you know, I'll be bringing out more training theory. Uh, like I said, I don't see myself being followed around the gym doing uh, curls and pull-ups. Not likely.